All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x is equal to 147. So to start, I'm gonna factor out seven to the power of x. So I get seven to the power of x times one plus one plus one is equal to 147. So soon as seven to the power of x times three is equal to 147. Now from here, I'm gonna divide both sides by three. So seven to the power of x is equal to 147 divided by three is going to equal 45, sorry, not 45, 49. So I get seven to the power of x is equal to 49 and 49 is equal to seven squared. So I have seven to the power of x is equal to seven to the power of two, meaning x is equal to two. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of four is equal to one. So to solve this, I, want to I need to find the value of x. So I'm gonna subtract one on both sides. So I get x to the power of four minus one is equal to zero. Now from here, I'm gonna rewrite this as x to the power of two times two minus one to the power of two is equal to zero. And the reason I did this is because now I can use the property a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, x to the power of two times two is equal to x to the power of two to the power of two. So if x to the power of two to the power of two minus one to the power of two is equal to zero. And now another property I can use is a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is one. So I get x squared plus one times x squared minus one is equal to zero. Now this gives me two equations. I get x squared plus one is equal to zero and x squared minus one equals zero. So let's first solve x squared minus one equals zero because it's more simpler than x squared plus one equals zero. To solve this, I'm gonna first add one on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to one. And now I'm gonna take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x and I get x equals positive or negative one. Now for x squared plus one equals zero, I'm gonna subtract one on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to negative one. I'm gonna again take the square root on both sides, but this time I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of negative one. Now, if you guys already know, the square root of negative one is equal to i. So I get x is equal to positive or negative i. So my four solutions to this problem are x equals one, x equals negative one, x equals positive i, and finally x equals negative i. So please make sure to like the video, subscribe, and please also share this video to your friends if you like it. Thank you.